We're all familiar with wood cutting circular saws, but did you know the metal cutting circular saw can work much the same way? Before starting work, you want to make sure that the blade is in good condition. Check all the carbide teeth, make sure they're not dull or chipped. Use the appropriate blade for the material you're cutting. Anything over 10 gauge will require a 42 tooth blade. Thinner material, a 50 tooth blade. Today I'm cutting 5 16 thickness uh, A36 mild plate steel. Here I'm setting up the guide uh, at the appropriate uh, offset. In this case I want to cut some strips uh, 1 inch and 7 eighths wide and I know that the foot or the base of the saw has a two and a half inch offset. So I'm going to simply set it at four and three eighths inches and that will create a straight line guide that the saw can follow. After tightening your clamps make sure you go back and you double check your measurements. It's not uncommon for the straight edge to shift a little bit as the clamps get tightened. You may have to go back a couple of times uh, to get it dialed in just perfect. The more accurate you are here, the more accurate your finished result will be uh, once you start cutting. It's always a good idea uh, to uh, start your cut and just make a very slight cut into the material so that you can measure and make sure that you're cutting the correct width before you make your cut. Let the saw come up to full speed and then enter the work carefully. You want to find a pace that is allowing the saw to cut at an even rate and that sounds good. If you press the saw too hard, you'll hear the motor drag down. You want to go a little bit slower. But you don't want to go so slow that the blade builds up excess of heat. It can cause it to wear out prematurely. You need that chip to help carry away the heat. I find on this thickness of material a pace of about one to two seconds per inch uh, feels about right. At the end of your cut you want to make sure that you have a way to catch the material either by hand or have a helper uh, who can catch it. After making the cut remove the chip bin from the saw and uh, dispose of the chips uh, in the trash can. You want to take the time to empty the uh, chips after each uh, cut. Metal cutting saws have a relatively low duty cycle, meaning that they can typically cut maybe for a minute or two and then they need to stop and cool off for a while. The manual contains a chart indicating the amount of time and the number of inches you can cut at various thicknesses. The saw does have a thermal protection circuit on it, uh, but it's recommended that you try to stay within those recommendations not to overheat the saw. Between long cuts it's recommended that the saw uh, rest for one hour 60 minutes or be run at no load for six minutes. Run at no load on its side like this. Allow the air to enter the motor and come out at the top. I do not run the saw laying on its side. It blocks the vents to the motor and impedes the cooling. In closing, use a sharp blade. Make sure that the saw is run at a good pace and allow it to cool adequately between cuts and you'll always have success.